Good evening, Earthlings. Tonight we're going to be taking a first look at Fractor, which is brought to us by, let me double check real quick, 4L Games and the Quantum Astrophysicists Guild, which is, which is pretty dope. And Fractor is a game that follows a veiled young hero who has set out on a perilous quest for light through a cryptic labyrinth of shadows. And this is a meticulously crafted puzzle game, according to the Nintendo eShop. All right, let's use the left stick to move. Oh, wow, that immediately jumps out, that sound. Boom. Oh, I see. Spooky. <laughs> it's really nice to look at, though. Oh, wow. Now this is the first time that I've played a puzzle game on stream, and I've reviewed them for the Nintendo Dads before, but never live and in color, so I may embarrass myself here. Some of you may enjoy that. Alright, so we got this little light over our head. Okay, that's gonna shine our way. Oh boy. The sounds immediately jump out to me. Oof. Oof give me chills. <laughs> Oof. Oof. <laughs> I mean, it is a week before Halloween. Like a little, little eerie, eerie adventure here. All right, let's see. Oh. I like the combination of the stark lines. Enter door one, yes, let's do it. And the round edges, or the sharp edges and the round lines.
It's very ethereal. Oof. I don't know what that was. Hmm. Doesn't look like I can move this one. the right stick in on that one and lift it. So it looks like a lot of the puzzles are based on like shining light onto other objects, opening new passageways. The, the story is probably going to be laid out in that fashion too. Definitely just it has some spooky thing to it. I, I don't know. It's, it's like... And we... I don't know what collecting these lights does for me. Here's the second one. What does that do? I got some switches on this one too. up this side. Step on that switch. I'll move this one over. Switch it up. Oh, middle switch. Very, very much enjoy this music. There's a different room. This is back to the, the first room. Hauntingly beautiful soundtrack. I would agree. Eerie ambient soundscape. Absolutely. Poetic, self-reflective journey. Striking black and white visuals. I enjoy each of those things. I'm kind of a quirky cat. I like, uh... I definitely am into the art, art within this game. Kind of the ringing bells. Man. I need to know what these... Oh! Oh, God. <laughs> it got me. This guy coming up right here to the left. Oof. That gave me the chills. <laughs> that gave me the willers, man. I don't even want to know what happens when, when you co we come into contact with one of those guys. You can't fall off the side, which is good. I don't think there's really any dying. Unless unless these Oh god. <laughs> oh no. Alright, what do I need to do here? Oh, okay, that puts up a wall. Okay, so in some way they're they're able to attack me. And one of them is going to attack me and <laughs> and I don't feel like shrieking. Uh oh. Oh my god. Okay, what do we do here? 
Can I come over? Okay, I can. Okay, so I need to let him through, I think. Oof. Okay, that's one way, I guess. I thought for sure he was going to keep walking. There's some stairs over here. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle these guys, friends. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. And you turn into the one of them. Hmm. I don't know, folks. <laughs> this might be a, a, sh a short stream today. Okay, let's just sneak. Oh, okay, that, that's going back to the controls. I gotta sneak. I gotta be on my game. I gotta be ready to move these things. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm stuck now. Oh, no. <sighs> Okay, it keeps your progress, though, which is interesting. Oh, that... Uh, I see. So that's gonna lift... I gotta switch off somewhere in the middle. That's the same place. How do we get up there? Can't see around the corner. Oh, I gotta merc these fools, is what I gotta do. This one I just gotta sneaky sneak. Okay. Now let's go to the other side. made it. I thought for sure he had me. Nice. I do like the addition of like kind of the 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 running and the sneaking. Obviously, goes along with sort of the spooky and eerie theme, but it it adds a little bit of extra drama to the to the puzzle solving, which is really fun.
Everything moves from afar. What does that mean? Because those smaller blocks don't move. Everything moves from afar. Well, folks, you're probably screaming at me right now because you probably know the answer already. But your boy is kind of uh, befuddled. All right, let's see. if it has anything to do with the sound. Hmm. Uh, the tracks. Not everything moves from afar. And push these into place. And then I can push this one into place. And then twist it. Okay. See, I'm not as dumb as I look. I think now that I know that like more things are pushable and, and more things can be interacted with, that definitely helps. I, I feel like I can get a little bit more creative. Like in this one, it looks like I need to put, I gotta push this one here first. makes me so nervous. <laughs> uh, 
Oh man. Oh my goodness, that is <sighs> stressful. Oh, there's the, one of the reflections. Oh, here's another one. Cool. Alright, so we gotta now we gotta push this guy up here. And I imagine that we'll have to do that again. I think this one's gonna... I need this one to go in. So I think the only way to get the other one is to get the um, the larger stump down. Yeah. This is very enjoyable. I think I talked about this when I was on the show uh, last month, but I really, I really love uh, collecting a lot of these uh, original soundtracks on vinyl. Uh, and this one, I really hope gets a release because this is very, very nice. I like to work to like to a lot of the OSTs. It's nice, chill music to have on the background. It's, t it's tough to work when you're when you got um. Like words and a lot of music. I know a lot of people like to listen to podcasts or or, uh, or listen to music with with words when they work. But for whatever reason, I just can't I can't concentrate. So I like I like listening to the the OSTs. All right, in uh, in lieu of of solving all the puzzle puzzles on stream and giving away the entire game, I'm sure it goes past this room with with just these doors. But I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off here. And I'd really want to give a shout out to the Quantum Astrophysicist Guild and 4L Games for honestly for developing this and and publishing it in the first place. This is a, this is a, a killer game. I really enjoy it. The music, the visuals, the puzzles, and like the kind of the spooky eeriness, um, the sneaking element, um, sprinting away from whatever those creatures are. Um, 
I really love this. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep uh, keep going at this one. And the music is absolutely fantastic. So I really I really appreciate them. Thank you guys for for sharing a code with with us and giving us the chance to check this out. This is fantastic. I really highly recommend this to anybody that's looking for another puzzle game um, on the Switch uh, to take a look at. And as always, go and find the Nintendo Dads podcast. Give us a rate review five stars some words really appreciate you also subscribe down below to the youtube channel and uh and yeah everybody you guys have a great evening and uh and peace peace and love baby (laughs) 